So guys, thank you very much. My name is Dr. Shahzad Nabi Jadun. So I'm representing the group five. So we have almost nine people in the group. So it was a diversified group. So we come up what are the key issues because we believe these all issues are uh, potential opportunities for us. So first issue that we identify is a water. So when we look at the water is a key issue for Pakistan. If we talk about the water starting from the availability, quality, and the usage of water is something is a as a key issue that uh, we have been facing in the agri business side. So uh, when we talk about the the presence of the farmers, that is also very very important because we need to have farmers from all over the Pakistan because that's going to represent a true sample uh, from the industry, and then it would help in developing the concept note for the uh, resilient climate, resilient dairy productivity. Supply chain, so uh, again this is very important to understand when we talk about the dairy, it means that whole complete supply chain is very very important which means that field, glass and then field. This is very very important because uh, till the time we don't understand the supply chain we are not going to get the gain that we are looking for. And uh, price volatility, that is something very much linked with the climate because we all know the seasonality, uh, uh, prices are linked with the seasonality. When it comes to the winter, the yields are more, the prices goes down, the farm gate prices goes down. And once uh, the, the when it comes to the summer season, the productivity goes down and the prices goes up. So this is again something which is concerned. And uh, the waste management, I think this is one of the, again, the most important point. The waste utilization and management is something very important because it is linking to another point, which is the alternative uh, feed resources. So we need to think on those lines, how we can use this waste to turn into the productivity. Disease outbreak, again, this is primarily more linked with the seasonality. Again, we found that the diseases in the summer season, the outbreaks are more, but along with that side, we need to work on the surveillance because this disease surveillance, we should put into this point because that's going to help us in putting up the concept mode and feed and fodder. I think this is the major challenge. Those who are real farmer, they can understand the feed cost and the availability of the raw materials along with the, the fodders availability and the quality is a major challenge in Pakistan because of the urbanization, the land is uh, being utilized in the colonies, the, the fodders and the other materials uh, shortages there. So we need to look at the feed and fodder, the farm economics. Anything that we are doing right now today, we need to underline this very important issue that what it is going to give to the farmer. Till the time we are not going to set off the farm economics, it's not going to be practically, practically it's not going to be workable. So uh, reproduction and production, that are the key issue of the farmer because those who are farmers, practical farmers, they understand along with uh, production, we need to have the reproduction. Till the time we don't have the matches of these two, we are not going to get the, uh, the benefit uh, on the dairy production. The awareness and extension services, the question is that what we are talking today, are our common farmer is aware about it? The answer is no. So how we can improve that? We are going to work on the awareness and extension services, which are going to create an awareness for these farmers. So barriers to adoption, again, there's a, there's a shift of uh, mindset and there is a shift of uh, technologies from conventional to new technologies. So those who are 80 or 70 percent farmers working, they are still on the conventional farm Farming, their adaptation towards the new technology is a question mark so that can be done through the awareness. So lack of data as most of the league has mentioned, I think data we need a mapping for the livestock, we need a mapping for the agriculture, so we need to build the agriculture and livestock integration in order to get the better results. The role of genetics is again, this is something very very important, here I, we mean by role of genetics is what we have locally and how it is behaving. So we are going to get that data and in that example we are going to put the example of buffalo. We found that the buffalo are more uh, emitter of the methane. So we need to understand its physiology and feed intakes because that's going to make a major dent once we are putting up the policy. The systems again the system varies because when you look at the feeding system, management system, it varies from province to province, region to region. So we need to understand all these systems. 
and uh, re overview of veterinary practices. So it is very, very important because uh, some areas we are doing the vaccine, some areas we are not doing, and some areas we are using the antibiotic over the counter. So that again has to be reviewed, that has to be taken into the consideration. The coal supply chain, we are very well aware the uh, energy crisis we are facing. So once we talk about the dairy production system, which means that uh, right after the milking till uh, making it available to the, the customer, it needs the coal supply chain, which is one of the biggest hinders. So we need to uh, consider it as a challenge. Alternative uh, solutions, weed solution I'll talk about. Lack of uh, legislation in the carbon footprint. Again, this sensitization has to be enacted and it has to be come into the legislation because till the time you don't put it in the legislation, nobody will consider it as an important and nobody will get out. So I think this is again very, very important point. The carbon market. So we need to work out how we are going to work on the carbon credits uh, financing system that has to be introduced. Still it is not. So we are not going to create any incentive for the farmer. So uh, energy issue I already have mentioned. So there are few uh, concerns, of course. Uh, one of the most uh, important concern is we develop the projects, we run the projects, but later on the sustainability in the projects lacks. So which means that if we uh, build up, uh, we roll the projects, those projects should be having the sustainability, it should be taken off by the second year and it should be replicated. Because if it is benefited, it has to be taken to the next level. Farmer uh, engagement, uh, uh, engagement program throughout the countrywide, again, this is very, very important. We need to think of those things that how we can involve people, how we can give them ownership and how we can make them uh, sure that they should be part of these practices. The, the uh, uh, lack of the continuity, as I have already explained, anything that we are doing, it should have the continuity. And one of the points which is again mentioned from the uh, 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 Logistan side that the, uh, the animal uh, export uh, from Pakistan, we need to work on, on the border, border management of the animal and, uh, and this is again one of the major concerns that we found should be addressed is the national level expert team. So sometimes that right now if we have a mix of people, next time these people will be changed. So why not we should uh, come up with the idea where we have a national expert team those who would be part of the, uh, not only part of the initial uh, project, but should be part of the monitoring and evaluation so that they can get the desired result and they can tap it at the end of the day. So uh, last point that we need to work on the AI uh, and IOTs and we work on the uh, e-commerce because uh, right now the world, uh, the world is changing to digitalization mechanization so we need to get those things into our farmers so that they can improve their performance in farming. Thank you very much.